Hi students, welcome to Friday. Let me explain what we're gonna be doing today. First thing, if you haven't completed all the assignments from the week, make sure you do that. If you find yourself falling behind, you might need to take some time at home. This is the last day of the week, so technically you should be able to finish all this work. Uh, but if not, there's a little bit of leniency over the weekend. So make sure you get this stuff done. If you haven't taken the tutorial survey of the retakes, this assignment right here, you're going to want to do so because it explains how the retake procedure works and how to improve your grade. I want to let you know that we are going to be taking a test, the next unit test, towards the middle end of, of the week you return. And at that point, retakes for the last unit will no longer be accepted. So you want to start working on that right now if you need to improve your grade. Next is notes about periodic table trends. This is going to tie back and help relate what you did for the graphing activity. If you struggle with that activity, that's okay. This notes were, are supposed to help you with that and truly understand what the trends are. So take good notes. You'll use those notes in the next practice assignment. So the next thing is the practice periodic trends. This is a Google Drive assignment that you're going to be able to interact with, but you're going to need those notes in order to do this assignment. Afterwards is the portfolio review. This is going to have you go back to your portfolio and look at the 2.1 target, which is what we've been learning throughout this week, and review that information. This is helping you not cram for the test and start getting ready for the test that's going to happen the week you guys return. After that is an activity. It's the Element Families Reading Activity. What you're going to do is you're going to open a Google Drive assignment that's going to help guide you through a reading. And you're going to read through a digital textbook. And it's really slick. You're going to log in through the CK12 textbook, and it gives you the ability to add highlights to the text. So if I wanted to add highlights, I can add highlights or notes, as you see here on the screen. Finally, there's a practice quiz. It is a timed quiz just to get you prepared for the, you know, the anxiety of the test and to help you lower that anxiety that's going to happen in the next week. The thing is, after you take the test and try it out the first time, if you didn't do so well, go and see what, how you did on those questions. It will show you those questions and let you prepare for them. That way, when you take it again, you can absolutely get 100%. All right, good luck.